Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do right here is in the beta flight, we're going to plug our claw in and we're going to have our radio turned on and be ready to connect a battery. So you can see now that with my settings, I've got an, an arming flag of 10 as well, and that means that the pre-arm switch is not activated, idle up, is not set. Activated. So I can I can click that on and off with a pre-arm. Pre-arm is optional. I like it because I a lot of times I'll go pick my quad up and I've I've got my radio hanging from my neck and I don't want to arm it up and get myself hurt. So that's just something that I started doing recently. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to go into your CLI and you're going to type in set space PID underscore I think it's called an underscore at min throttle space equals off it's going to say pit at min throttle set to off then you're going to hit save and now you're ready to go into your modes and I'm going to cover this uh, uh, where you can actually see my radio but arm used to be switch number one which is pretty common, common on the uh, Tyrannus QX7 it's the one down on your index finger in front of the radio on the left side and I've always had that just set up as a simple arm well I switched the three position position switch on the left side the taller one with the one down on the front so that I can reach it with my index finger and that's auxiliary four um, and I've got it set at both positions it will arm but in this first position will be idle up mode and the second position will be air mode with air mode switched on so I had to go into configuration and this is something I've always I've just always had uh, air mode permanently enabled I've got that off now because we don't want it all on, on all the time so it's, it'll get in the way so we go back into modes and I've got that one set up on the three-way and then I, I didn't want to just not use my regular arm switch that I had before so I moved it to um, pre-arm on auxiliary one so now I've got to use my Activated. my single arm my single switch here Activated. to pre-arm or else my other switch does nothing and like I said just a safety thing that's optional you don't have to do that you can do all this on one switch and you can take your radio apart and you can move that switch to where it's more comfortable for you to reach with your finger but you want a three position switch and here's why auxiliary four same switch it's three position in the third position air mode is on in the first and second idle up. it's not idle so up. in idle up I do not have air mode and as long as my throttle is down I'm in idle up mode without Precision air mode aerobatics. when I go into air mode I'm still no PID at minimum throttle which means even when air mode is enabled and I haven't touched my throttle yet I can still pick my quad up and I, I'm still in idle up mode so I still have no PID loop so my it's not going to go crazy I can put my finger in the prop or whatever I want to do but when you're ready to take off you're going to throw it all the way into the third position which is armed and air mode and then once you take off your quad goes right into normal state you can go up in the air you can kill the throttle all the way and do a trick and your air mode stays on and will stay on until you come in to land then you're going to go to your third position switch, your three position switch, which is, like I said, mine is set on auxiliary four, and you're going to move it to the middle position, and that's idle up, and that turns off air mode, so that when you come in and you land, see, you, you're hovering a few inches off the ground or whatever, and you throttle all the way down, and you set your quad down, it doesn't matter if you skid in, if you drop, if it's a hard landing, it does not matter. You bring your throttle down and your quad will fall and it will stay its place your props will spin but it will not go all crazy on you and this is neat because that because your gyro if you come in and you're an eighth of an inch off and you start to touch down and your gyro doesn't like it it's gonna make an insane adjustment to try to correct and 
your quad will spaz out of control. I'm sure we've all experienced this. I know I have. It doesn't matter how good you try to land. You may get it 9 out of 10 times, but that one time, you're going to flip out of control. You're going to bend up a prop. You, you know, you're going to get dirt in your stack or whatever, and it's, it's a nuisance. This will let you come in and set your quad down at a minimum throttle, whatever your idle is set at in your configuration. Um, let's see, this quad is running one shot. They're just a little cheap 20 amp ESCs. And I've got my minimum throttle at 1030. And I, ran, I run motor PWM separate from PID. I've learned this from Joshua Bardwell. It's pretty cool. Um, check into that if you want. Just type, uh, just search that and you'll find it. But, um, my motors don't stop. They just go into a, into a closed PID. And so it doesn't want to correct itself. And so that is it as far as on configuration goes. You're going to, you're going to disable permanent air mode. You're going to type in the CLI set PID at minimum throttle off. And then you're going to set up your switches to whatever's comfortable. I don't care if you put it on the right-hand side, if you use the little three-way, the tall three-way. Take your radio apart and move it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Whatever's comfortable for you. A three-way switch with arm in idle mode and arm in air mode and then disarm. That's your three positions. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments. We're going to go to the radio now. Okay, so I hope this isn't too hard to see. I'm not set up the best with my cameras and, and things like that yet. I hope to in the future. So I've just got a little flexi mount on my GoPro session hanging off the side of a kitchen chair. So you guys can look down and see what's going on. So I'm set to my, to my chameleon right now. And this is what I was telling you. This is a pre-arm now. This is a single, a single throw. Active. And this is the one that used to be right here. And so I've switched these two places. And this is personal preference. You do whatever you want. Put it wherever you want. This is a three-way a three way as well. And you can use that one if you like that little switch. I like this big switch that used to be right here. Because when I'm flying, I can reach down with my Idle index up. finger. Precision aerobatics. Idle up. And I can put it on what I want it to be on. So... I'm going to go ahead and power the quad up and show you what this does. So now this is my arm switch. Idle up. And it won't do anything until I pre-arm. And it tells me activated. That's what I set my sound to. So when it's, when it's pre-armed, now I'm in disarm, disarm here. I come up to idle up. And in idle up, you can't bend a prop if you come in and crash. You can't, you're not going to hurt your stuff, you're not going to, your quad's not going to spaz out. You can pick it up, you can do whatever you want, you can stick it on the ground. And when you come in to land, you're going to come in and you're just going to land. And it's going to set down and your gyro is not going to tell it to do anything else. So that's what's cool about this. Now, when I go into full arm mode, I'm in air mode. I'm, I'm fully ready to fly. I'm in my living room right now. This, you couldn't, you wouldn't do this without this. Same thing. It doesn't activate until you get on the throttle. And when you get off the throttle, it goes back. So you can come in and land, and when you set this thing down, it's done. Now, if you've got it in air mode and you throttle up for longer than one second, which is going to take you one second to get off the ground, then it kicks into air mode in full arm mode and you regularly fly and you can do all your acrobatics and when you kill your throttle it does not go into idle up mode it stays in air mode so you've got full control of your quad and when you come into land you're going to reach up and you're going to put that to the middle position and now you're back into idle up mode and then it's going to disable air mode and when you come in and land it's going to come in and land and I'm going to show you this like I said you can't do this crap in your living room with a regular setup so I can bump it and it just, as soon as I let off that throttle, it lands and it doesn't mess around no more. So it, this is, I mean, this is, this is safe. You can dink around in your living room. 
The other day I was hopping around with it and making it just bounce all over the place and purposely land sideways and hit the props and it would just stop them. And it wouldn't go all crazy and it wouldn't start doing a break dance on the ground. This is a really neat thing and I really hope this video makes sense. Um, KISS has it going on. They've got this built right in. And with Betaflight, you kind of have to bend the rules and, and do some different things. And so hopefully I covered it well enough for you. And my camera turned off. No, it didn't. Nope, it's still going. Weird. Okay, my phone disconnected from my camera and scared the crap out of me. Sorry about that. I am going to get this video uploaded. I really hope I covered this all the way. If you have any questions, um, drop a comment. Uh, I'll explain it as best I can. Um, once again, you don't need to have a pre-arm. This is my personal preference. You do need a three-way switch. It doesn't matter if you want a short throw or a long one. It doesn't matter if you want it here, 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 or here, here, or here. It doesn't matter. You need a three-way switch. You need disarm. Idle up. Idle up. Precision aerobatics. And air mode. And that's it. And then you need to type into your CLI. And that's it. It's that simple. Um, test it in a safe place. Don't cut your fingers off. You'll know if you've got it because don't go sticking your fingers in the props first. Move the quad a little bit and see if it tries to correct. If it does, you don't have it yet. So, thank you for watching.